Who do you think you are? Forgive me, sir. If we were in France, yeah. I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business! I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am! Stop! I beg you! I, I didn't mean to! Don't hit me, please, sir! Shit! Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to your room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Uh, Let her go! Huh? Stay out of it, boy! Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. I believe in man. From speech comes dialogue. From dialogue, peace is born. And from peace, great destinies flourish. What the fuck are you talking about? I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Think about it. You know your head will roll tomorrow if you shoot. Wanna bet? Sure do. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. Who do you think you are? Forgive me, sir. If we were in France, yeah. I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. <gasps> hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Uh, Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to your room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Uh, you filthy whore! I apologize, have mercy. Please have mercy. Uh, no, uh, no! I apologize, no, no, no. Mercy, have mercy, no, no, no. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? Are you out of your mind? What about the consequences? What are you talking about? The consequences of beating up one of Lord Mortimer's friends in his own house. You tell him about that and you'll have to answer to me. Huh. Given the mess, talking's not gonna help anything. Jacques Perru. I don't recognize anything in here. This must not be the room for my vision. Great, honey. A letter, addressed to the French Revolutionary Court. He wants to show them his loyalty, and for that, he includes a list of guillotinable people. Women, children, precautionary beheadings. This man would kill them all. This man's ruthless.
fine quality boots. Given the size of them, the man they belong to must be pretty big. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais and will take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. Lord William Mortimer. This window's blocked. A pattern with four circles. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another twenty beds will soon be ready. The children, and myself, will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests they arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. 